What's up guys, are you getting less than 10 megabits per second on your Linksys router, even though you're paying for like 300 plus megabits? What is up with that and what is causing it to be so slow? Now this took me a long time, about a week, to actually work out what the heck was going on. I called my ISP, I said, um, I'm paying 300 megabits, why am I getting 10 megabits? And they said, on our end, you did a speed test plugging it into your fiber modem to your computer, you're getting easily 300 megabits. And I'm saying, I said, yeah, but when I use the Linksys, a Wi-Fi 6 router, 2021 edition router, we are barely getting 10 megabits. They couldn't answer it. They saw all the tests and they went, we might have to book a technician. So I did a little bit of digging. I went, must be something. If the fiber modem is bringing in 300 plus megabits, why is the Linksys modem bringing 10 megabits? What is causing this problem? Now, I did a little bit of digging and I realized there was this option that I had ticked on. I prioritized three different devices and I went, why would I have done that? So I've prioritized my Apple Watch, don't know why I would have prioritized that, and I prioritized my computer and also an iPad. I prioritized three devices. So what? So pretty much what this option is, device prioritization, it pretty much gives bandwidth, um, extra bandwidth to those three devices that you have ticked on. Now, there's another thing it does in this prioritization setting. Up the top, you're gonna to see megabits. I noticed it was ticked at eight megabits per second. And I'm going, eight megabits per second, why does that ticked on? And then the upload was nine megabits. And I went, that shouldn't be there. It's capping my internet at those particular megabits. So I went, I'm gonna just flick off this whole prioritization setting. I'm gonna just turn it off, reboot the whole modem. I did the speed test and what do you think I got? The full 300 megabits per second. Now we're gonna walk you through, obviously, basically the steps on doing this so you can get your internet back to what you're actually paying for. So if you're paying 300 megabits, awesome. If you're paying a gigabit, you're gonna get this by turning this setting off. If this doesn't solve this problem, um, this is probably the only thing it would slow your speed. So if it, any other issue was happening on your Linksys router, most probably is your service provider that is causing the problem. But this end, on this particular isolated issue, it was actually the Linksys router because I ticked prioritization to three devices and it was capped at only eight megabits. So that was where the problem is, right there. So when you, if you do wanna use prioritization, you can use it. When you tick it on, it does a speed test. If you're, when it does the speed test, if your internet is slow, it will cap that as what your normal speed test is and it'll, it'll just lock a certain megabits per second. Not good stuff. You can alter this and edit it, but I would just turn prioritization off completely unless you really, really, really need that extra bandwidth for certain devices. Okay, you may need to turn it on, um, but just make sure if you know what your internet speed is, um, just say you're getting 500 megabits. Tick in there 500 megabits. Don't tick in there 50 megabits, if, as long as you, because if you tick 50 megabits, every other device except for the prioritization devices is gonna be 50 megabits. So keep that in mind, whatever number you put in there. That's why I just recommend turning the whole setting off. Now, as you see, while the prioritization setting is on, because I haven't turned it off at the present, you're gonna see the speed test right here. And as you see, it's exceptionally slow. We're getting 300 megabits normally. And as you see, the modem is actually, well, the router is actually capping that internet so slow. So let's go over to um, the tablet and just show you just how to turn it off. Now, again, um, I'll have the link down below if you're trying to um, turn this off on your Linksys device off the web address down there. If that link does not work, we recommend just looking up uh, on Google pretty much Linksys router login and they should present you with a few web address codes that you can type into your web address. But definitely check out the link down below, that should certainly help you. Um, but if you've got an older modem, the link may not work. Um, we are using the 2020-2021 um, mesh router, okay? So that is the particular router we are using. So it, I don't know if the links will work on older editions. Um, so again, if you do have an older router, just search it on Google and you should be able to find what you're looking for over there. All right, guys, so let's go flick off this prioritization setting and then we'll do a, another speed test and see what the real results are. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so before we start editing any settings in the Linksys, um, pretty much web page is we're just gonna do a quick speed test so we can show you what you're seeing now and when we change the settings, the big um, change you're gonna to start to see. So as you see, look at that, that's pretty poor. Six megabits, yeah, not good. All right, so that's all we really need to show you and now let's jump over to the Linksys page, which is here. And as you see, you're gonna see a bunch of different 
um, options. Now, if you look down, you're gonna see the sixth title is going to um, show you high priority right there. So this is what we wanna change. So what you wanna do is you wanna go navigate over to where it says smart Wi-Fi tools. Pretty much what you wanna do is navigate down to obviously device prioritization. Click on that, just under parent control. As you see right here, this is where the problem is emerging. As you see, it's capped at seven megabits per second and the max upload it's allowing is 10 megabits. What you wanna just do, if you wanna alter this, just hit settings and you can, oh not settings, um, just tap on um, pretty much the seven megabits and you can update it like that. But what I would recommend do is just power it off. Turn it off and hit okay. Okay, that's all you need to do. Pretty much just wait for that to reboot. And as you see, it's, it's now turned off over here. Um, as you see the sixth title, it's now faded out a bit. So now what we should be able to do, we should be able to open up the speed test app. It should have already um, taken effect. Um, I don't see the router blinking, so it looks like it's fine. So now let's reopen that speed tester app. Now let's hit uh, speed test, and let's see if we're now getting our 300 megabits per second. And I think we are. And that's how easy it is, honestly, guys. That's how you fix it. That is, it's just the easiest thing that I've come across. And look, we're getting what we're paying for, 300 megabits. So yeah, that's how simple it really is. That's all you have to do. It's pretty much turn off that prioritization. If you don't wanna turn the prioritization off, not a problem, just click on where it says your megabits and just up that to what you want all your devices to be on. But yeah, that's how easy it is to do. And now, as you see, we're now back to our normal internet speed. Again, we'll just do another one for just to make sure everything is 100% working. And yeah, we're back to our 300 megabits. So yeah, that's um, pretty much everything. If you found this video very helpful, let us know down below. Think, think about subscribing and thumbsing up to the video. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And that's pretty much everything in today's video. All right, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one.